My name is Carter. I'm 26 years old and single. I work as a janitor at Panic Collection Corporation. A major company. People often look down on janitors. But I take a lot of pride in what I do. And find it really rewarding. Employees here can work comfortably. Because our cleaning team keeps the place spotless. Well, maybe that's a bit of a stretch. But cleaning's still an important part of helping the company succeed. That's why I believe putting my all into the work I'm doing now will pay off in the future. Hey, Mr. Carter. As I walked into the office to start cleaning, Miss Page, one of the employees, called out to me. A client who came in for a meeting earlier brought us some snacks as a gift. There's enough for the cleaning team, too, so make sure you grab some later, okay? Thank you, Miss Page. I thanked her politely. But then another employee chimed in with a mocking tone. Miss Page, come on. You don't need to share with the janitors. It's not like poor people can even appreciate fancy snacks anyway. The one making this snide comment was John, a guy who joined the company about three months ago. Remember when I said there are people who look down on janitors? He's the prime example. From day one, he's treated me like I'm beneath him. And he never misses a chance to talk down to me. Hey, knock it off, John. That is so rude to Carter. Thinking janitors are poor is just your own prejudice. The cleaning team is part of Panic Collection too, and they do an important job. Miss Page tried to shut him up. But instead of apologizing, John just rolled his eyes and gave her a smug look. Ugh, this is exactly why you let these peasants get ahead of themselves. Miss Page, you're too nice. And as the CEO's daughter, maybe you don't really understand how the world works. But there are hierarchies, and we need to maintain proper boundaries. Boundaries? Oh, please. I know my place just fine. I grumbled internally, but didn't bother responding. There's no point arguing with someone like him. So I stayed quiet and focused on my cleaning. Wait a second. John, you might not know this, but... Ugh, having the cleaning crew around is such a pain. Guess I'll go take a smoke break. Cutting Miss Page off mid-sentence, Josh hummed to himself and strolled off to the smoking area. Hey, don't just walk away while I'm talking. It's fine, Paige. As she started to go after him, I stopped her. Don't bother with someone like that. It's not worth the trouble, and it'll just distract you from your work. Miss Page hesitated, then turned back to me. Are you sure? Well, if you're okay with it, I'll drop it for now, but... Carter, no nicknames at work, okay? You can call me Paige outside of the office, but here it's Miss Page. Got it? Yeah, sorry, Miss Page. But Miss Page, you called me Carter too, don't you? Oh, you're right. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Oops. Paige is two years older than me, and the daughter of the CEO of Panic Collection Corporation. But we're connected outside of work too. At the office, we stick to formalities to keep things professional. But to me, she's like an older sister who dotes on me as if I were her real little brother. I really admire her. Still, it's so like her to try to keep her personal and professional lives completely separate, even in moments like this. That kind of seriousness must come from her mom, Penny. Penny, or Penny Mama, as I call her, is the CEO of Panic Collection Corporation, the company I work for. She's an incredible woman who turned a small, local family business into a nationwide powerhouse in just one generation. True to her reputation as a brilliant leader, Penny Mama has a unique management philosophy. A leader should work harder than anyone else and take on the jobs no one else wants. She believes it's the CEO's responsibility to create a comfortable work environment for everyone. That's why, despite her busy schedule flying around the country, Penny Mama often shows up at the office and spends the morning cleaning the entrance herself. I've even heard that when Miss Page first joined the company, she was tasked with cleaning the office bathrooms. It's such a refreshing contrast to most companies, where the dirty work is often dumped on the junior employees, 
Still, it's going to feel lonely without you here, Miss Page. Penny Mama and everyone else will all miss you. Yeah, I'm sorry I feel bad for leaving like this, but I just can't give up on my dream. Miss Page had joined Panic Collection Corporation with the intention of becoming the next successor. But she just couldn't let go of her dream of becoming a pianist. In the end, she decided to resign and head to Paris to train. At the time, there was a lot of opposition within the company about losing the potential successor, but Penny Mama stepped in to support Miss Page's dream and settled the issue of succession. Penny Mama is truly amazing. Not only as a CEO, but as a mother, too. I have so much respect for her. And I hope to become someone who can support her someday. For now, though, I have my own role to play. Cleaning, cleaning, and more cleaning! By keeping the office spotless and comfortable, I can do my part to help Penny Mama. I'm genuinely satisfied with the work I've chosen for myself. But that satisfaction didn't last long, as a new problem was about to arise. It happened one day when I came in to clean the office. Inside, I found John, the only one there, passed out asleep at his desk. This guy, thinking no one's around, snoring loudly while he sleeps. John's one of the few incompetent employees at Panic Collection. And it's not the first time he's taken a nap when he thinks no one's watching. Feeling irritated, I shook him awake. Hey John, you shouldn't be sleeping during work hours. What? Oh, it's you. I was finally getting some good sleep and you woke me up? But it's working hours right now. What's your deal? You're trying to boss me around, janitor? It's not like I can't take a short break, right? Shouldn't breaks be taken during break time? <laughs> What's a bottom tier loser like you talking all high and mighty for? Bottom tier loser? Yeah, right? A lowly janitor who can't do anything else, thinking you can talk to me? An elite employee of Panic Collection? Like we're equals? I couldn't understand when John started thinking of himself as an elite employee. I really didn't get it. Uh, you're just a bottom tier loser. You're in my way. Go away. Go away. You're ruining my nap. I was beyond frustrated. Not only was he slacking off during work, but calling me a bottom tier loser was too much. I didn't care that he was looking down on me as a janitor. What bothered me was that he was disrespecting all the other janitors at Panic Collection Corporation. But despite my anger, John just ignored me and went back to napping at his desk. I couldn't just let this slide. But what should I do? Should I report to Miss Page? Or to Penny Mama, the CEO? But I didn't want to trouble Penny Mama with something so petty, especially since she was so busy. And I felt so bad about bothering Miss Page, especially with her trip towards Paris coming up. I was stuck. That's when John dug his own grave. That day, I was carrying a bucket of water to clean the office bathroom when John showed up. What's this? You're cleaning the bathroom now? I was about to use it. How am I supposed to get in with you cleaning? You should put your cleaning on hold for me, the employee. You can still use the bathroom while I'm cleaning. Huh? You? A lowly janitor talking back to me, an employee? Get lost, you filthy poor thing! With that, John grabbed the bucket from my hands and poured the water over my head! <laughs> You're so dirty, so I'll clean you up with some water. You're now a handsome, drenched guy, huh? <laughs> Maybe this will make you a little more tolerable. Be grateful, you filthy bottom-tier loser. <laughs> S 
soaked from head to toe. I felt a surge of anger I had never experienced before. I couldn't take it anymore. I tried to let it slide, but I reached my breaking point. Just as I was about to confront John, a woman's voice echoed through the office. What do you think you're doing to my son? What? Standing in front of us, arms crossed and clearly furious, was Penny Mama, the CEO. Mr. John, was it? You've got some nerve pouring water on my son. You've turned him into a drenched, handsome guy, so I guess I should thank you for that. What? See, yo, wait, my... Your son? John was completely flustered. Not just from being caught by Penny Mama, but also from not understanding what she was saying. That's right. Carter is my legitimate son. If you need proof, I can show you the family registry. But Miss Page is an only child. Penny Mama laughed lightly. Originally, Carter was my sister's child, but when he joined Panic Collection, he was adopted by me. When Paige decided to go to Paris and there were concerns about the company's future, Carter started training to become the next successor. What? No, it can't be. Even though he's my nephew, if I passed on the company to someone outside of my immediate family, there would be too many rumors. So, to make things clear, I adopted him. I thought everyone knew about it, but since you've only just joined, I guess it's understandable you didn't. Uh, but, 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 why is he working as a janitor? Because that's what Carter wanted. Huh? He chose that himself? Right after he joined, I tried to have him start with cleaning the toilets just like I did with Paige, but I realized that doing that alone wouldn't really help him understand or live by Panic Collection's core values. He told me he wanted to work as a janitor first, so that no matter what job he does, he can take pride in it as a true professional. He's a pretty impressive young man, don't you think? I never doubted my decision to choose him as the next successor. Then Penny Mama turned to me and asked, Carter, now that you've worked as a janitor, do you feel like you've learned anything? Yeah, I've learned a lot. I've come to realize that at Panic Collection Corporation, all employees, regardless of their roles, need to work together and give their best. At the same time, I've also understood that some people still carry a sense of discrimination because of the differences in our work duties. Uh in the future, when I start getting more involved in management, I think it's important to tackle this issue and create an environment where everyone can work together as a team. Mm-hmm, that's exactly right. I agree with you. Although I'm busy and can't always keep an eye on everything, I want you to be my right hand and make sure things run smoothly from now on. Of course. Penny and I exchanged a firm handshake. Just then, Miss Page, who had appeared out of nowhere, spoke up in a relaxed tone it's great that you two have gotten so close, but what are we going to do about John? Penny turned to John with a stern look. Ah! Well, that's something I've been thinking about too. Your behavior toward Carter is absolutely unacceptable. But even though I'm busy and can't catch everything, I'm not blind. Did you really think I didn't notice that you're always slacking off whenever you get the chance and not doing your job properly? I'm sorry! For someone who's been slacking off at work to look down on Carter, someone who's been working hard as a janitor, and then pour water on him, as a business owner, I can't let that go. No, that's not fair! Oh, so what's the plan? Are you going to fire him? <laughs> Miss Page smirked as she said that, and Penny Mama followed with a similar smile. No, no, Paige, even though he's a useless employee, I can't just fire him that easily. But if he's going to continue working here, he'll have to fully understand and embrace the values of Panic Collection Corporation. So for now, I think I'll have Mr. John work as a janitor and really get a taste of what it's like to clean every inch of this office. Wait, you mean I have to do that? No way, I don't wanna! Well, Carter did it, and so did all the long-term employees at Panic Collection. That doesn't mean I have to do it! 
I don't want to clean! That's something only bottom tier losers do! What are you talking about? Janitors are not losers! Calling people bottom tier or poor is just your arrogant assumption. In any workplace, it's the janitors who work hard to keep things clean. Allowing everyone else to work comfortably. Not understanding that is proof of your own incompetence. Well said, as expected of the next successor of our company. All right, the decision's been made. Mr. John, go change into your janitor uniform, and let's start with the bathrooms. I'll personally train you on the job. Together, we'll make the office restroom shine. No, I don't want to! Somebody help me! After that, John couldn't handle the janitor's job and ended up quitting on his own. However, the story of him leaving Panic Collection Corporation spread all over town. And it seems no one wanted to hire him. Now he works part-time at a convenience store. Cleaning the restrooms every day. I still don't understand what he hated about such a rewarding job. Time passed, and now i finished my work as a janitor. I'm out with Penny Mama, visiting various clients every day. From now on, I'll work hard to help grow the company that Penny Mama has built. That's my resolve. <laughs> Thank you for watching! What kind of crazy people will we get to see next? Stay tuned for more!